Hey, what's up players? Silip here and today I want to show you a really fun and neat game that's an indie game called Oxygen Not Included. And this will be a bit of a walkthrough of what I call novice mode of the game. So I just picked the survival difficulty, which is the normal difficulty, but I'm going to tone it down just a little notch, make our clones germ resistant and chill with their morale. So these two things are a bit of a hassle to keep track of, but the food and hunger will stay at normal difficulty and so will the stress. So that's what this game really is is it's a base building game where you're colonizing an asteroid with a bunch of clones and you want to launch off into the moon. You want to shoot for the moon in this game. And so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, the other thing that you can do here is it says coordinates across these different worlds. This is the easiest world. There are plenty of tutorials that all play on this world. So I'm not going to pick the Terra world. Uh, Oceania is basically like Terra except with a little bit more water so I'm not going to pick that one either. You can tell the difficulty level survival chance here slightly less than Terra. So uh, actually let's pick Rhyme first and then I'll do another walkthrough of the Verdant or Verdante however you want to call it. Rhyme is the frozen asteroid and to give ourselves a little bit of a better chance at surviving. I'm gonna enter a world gen seed here, which has some world characteristics that you want to look out for. Uh, you always want a metal rich world. You run out of metal so quickly when you're building things. And I have a world gen seed here that gives you the exact three characteristics that you'll want in your world and I'm gonna enter it here it's eight four seven eight three nine zero three zero these are the three characteristics you want to look for in rhyme it's a subsurface ocean you want metal rich and you want some form of oil irregular oil the subsurface ocean helps regulate temperatures metal rich and irregular oil give you plenty of resources to access in your world. There's one other characteristic that's useful in Rhyme, which is the geoactive characteristic, because Rhyme is cold and inhospitable, and you want some gas vent to warm you up. So if you want a little bit more of a warmer environment in Rhyme, you can use this next one, which is 19090 three seven nine six six this gives you the subsurface ocean the irregular oil geoactive and metal rich so let's start here and it's gonna do a bunch of goobly goop and we're, we're gonna pick our clones next our dupes the duplicates and here we have three duplicates that are given to us uh, what you really want is one dedicated digger one dedicated researcher and then a third builder or digger builder and or digger but you want them specialized and you want to watch out for some of these debuffs that they get you don't want narcoleptic so let's reroll our researcher that's pretty good immune to food poisoning but can't do attacking errands increased strength is good but uh, this is really good actually um, decreased athletics. Oh man, he's gonna be kind of slow though. I really like that mole hands, but decreased athletics is just gonna make him too slow. All right, so here are three dupes that I like. Um, one can't do attacking errands, one's allergic to floral scent, one can't do cooking errands, which is okay but they've got athletics boost, which makes them faster, and construction boost. Generally, you want your first three dupes to be highly specialized. Among them, they have 14 plus six points of skill. And let's name this Frozen Village. Now let's embark and you'll get to the main game where you just landed 
within an asteroid. And if you zoom out, you can see we've got quite a bit of copper ore here. This is in regular speed, and I've paused the game with space. You've got some water here. That'll be the first course of action is to get to the water. As soon as we start to venture outside of the cold biome, check this out, there's some ice right there. And that, that our, our dupes won't like that. So this is all just really cold right now. This is the only area that is 13 degrees Celsius. And that is the challenge in this world is how do you survive when it's so dang cold? This is my first time playing of this, so we'll figure out as as we go. Let's start digging. So let's build a ladder down through this water. We want to consolidate all this water away from this cold area right here. So since each asteroid is dynamic your strategy is going to change depending on the temperature and all of that. So let's build a ladder down through here and let the water flow across this gap that we're going to dig out. So, and while we're at it, let's build the basic essentials, which are a lavatory and a little bit of power and oxygen generation so while we're digging we'll also dig out the space next to the ladder and meanwhile let's get some plumbing going with oh an outhouse here we'll have the outhouse somewhat close to the water source because right next to it will be a sink it's going to help us de-germ the dupes and you want to try and keep relatively flat here. One outhouse over there, or wash basin, which is under the medicine menu. And those two will be built next to each other. So now we can also um, start to generate a little bit of power because we've got some copper ore that we just dug up. So what I've done here is right next to the primary light source I built a research station and a generator. Pretty soon once we get more, um, oh they're already getting hypothermia, see it's, that water is really cold. So that's a big challenge in rhyme here, which is that consistent source of hypothermia, which slows down your duplicates, you know, prevents them from doing their job efficiently, which is digging and building. So. The wire's being built, and while we're at it, let's also... Well, we're gonna need a little bit more copper. So let's build this ladder up. And the, the building layout you generally wanna go for is four tiles of space in between each floor. This will allow your dupes, you know, maneuver around the area relatively quickly and still reach all of their digs, so I, have, I don't have tiles built up here yet, so I'm going to build a tile here, a tile here. And, uh, you know, you can have three spaces as well. Most buildings that are early to mid-game are only three spaces tall maximum. It's only the later stage buildings that get to be much taller, you know, four spaces high, things like that. Um, and you can tell there's a lot of copper here that we're all going to dig out as well. Yeah, that, that, that all is going to be dug out, build even more machinery. And that's the real goal here is to build some machines. And while we're at it, let's dig this algae out once the ladder is up. We can dig a little bit more further up. Harold, nobody's doing research right now. Let's lower the priority of that generator. What I'm really missing is a battery, but I don't have enough copper for it. It's actually a, a big waste of Harold's time. So what we're gonna do is we're, we're gonna change everyone's priorities by going into the priorities window. So Harold will focus on researching, that's right, but that's later on because 
we don't have a battery yet which holds the power. So he's going to focus on building and digging first. And then, you know, naturally Bert is, is the master digger. Ashkan is the master builder. So you, you want one, one high priority digger, one high priority builder. Since Ashkan also has athletics, we'll up the priority of supplying for him too. And let's see if that changes Harold's priorities. No, it doesn't. What, is, what are you doing, Harold? Harold, just go up here, man. Help out your fellow dupes. That's right. And now the dupes are going to dig out this whole area here. And now we can actually start building the outline of what the base will look like. So here are some additional tiles. Um, as I mentioned, four, four spaces in between each floor. So we can build tiles through here. You want to leave one space on either side of the ladder. Dupes can climb across two spaces, so that should be good. Again, the, this, these tile placements are from, you know, you look at this floor here and then one, two, three, four spaces. And then we can do the same thing. One, two, three, four spaces. So this is where the next tile will go. Then this is where the next tile will go. And there you have it. So that's that's the layout that you want to go for. Just dig out everything else. Dig out, you know, this whole area here. Dig out this whole area. At the beginning, you're just going to be doing so much digging. That's why we have that. Um, specialized excavator. You don't have to build tiles on top of material that's already there. Um, that's sometimes a waste of, of dupe resources. So I'm going to cancel out this floor that was just for illustrative purposes. But everything else you do want to start digging out. So dig out all of this sandstone here, build a ladder further up, and Pretty soon that water is going to fall down and we will have a source of water for the wash basin. So let's see if we have enough to make the battery now. Yep, we do. So let's make that battery with a wire connecting them. Now Harold can do some research. So I'm going to reset Harold's priorities back to the default. And let's take a look at their schedule. Are you falling asleep next to the toilet again? Oh my gosh. This guy. And he's the main researcher. We're screwed. Alright, so for adjusting your schedule here, let's add a new schedule. Right now it's a copy of the, current, of the existing schedule. As far as scheduling goes, you really don't need bath time because during their downtime, the dupes will just do what they need to do. What you want to do is have your downtimes be staggered. Have the downtimes and the bedtimes both be staggered a little bit. So this schedule, we're going to have the downtime in the morning, slow mornings. This way, not everyone's using the bathroom at the same time, and they, they actually can pee their pants in, in this game and make a mess. And usually they make that mess in your water supply, which is unfortunate because you just lost a good source of fresh water there so before they do that you want to make sure you have good water management here yeah that's going to be too cold let's up the priority of this to six we really need that battery here and let's bring back the priority of the generator to be regular and the wire to also be priority six you can tell Bert's got hypothermia here. That's one of the biggest challenges in this map is uh, maintaining a good temperature. Doing his best, but... All right, now let's select a research focus. The first thing we're gonna research here is actually going to be power regulation. Smart batteries actually emit a decent amount of heat. So we're not just gonna have one smart battery. 
we're gonna have a whole bunch of smart batteries and those smart batteries will provide early heat in our colony here. Harold, Harold's getting to what he does best, which is researching. And he, he's actually quite a good researcher. I've been giving him a hard time, but he's actually good at what he does. So this should be over fairly soon. In the meantime, let's dig up some more of this copper ore. That water supply looks to be okay. Let's add some plumbing in the form of a pitcher pump. And then soon we're gonna start sectioning these off into things like a bedroom and you know they call them barracks here you know let's do that now so under furniture we'll have a few cots and a pneumatic door let's build the other door kind of further out this cot will be here this way there's some room for additional dupes if and when they join Jumbo battery research is complete. Here I'm gonna build one, two jumbo batteries with wires connecting them. And the next thing we're gonna research is basic farming. That's gonna give planter box access. For planter boxes, we're gonna start with mealwoods. Bert just uprooted a mealwood, giving that mealwood seed, which we'll plant in that planter box. And then uh, Bert is kindly recharging the battery here so that Harold can continue doing researching. Ashcon is stuck because he doesn't have a secondary ladder and so he's gonna build that secondary ladder to the pitcher pump and back up. You got to be really careful in managing how your dupes are doing, giving them things to do, you know always making sure they're busy they're not loafing around because this is survival. I mean, they can die at any moment and they gotta be on top of things. And not only will they die, they'll kill their fellow dupes with them. So uh, stay on top of your shit, guys. All right, so this battery still hasn't finished. Let's prioritize that. And the planner boxes have finished. Now this is going to be tricky. Remember, this place is really cold and mealwoods only grow within a very specific temperature range. So as soon as it gets lower than 10 degrees, mealwoods won't grow anymore. But hot oxygen rises, so everything above the batteries will be naturally warmer. Actually, yeah, let's make it above this main floor here. So. So as soon as Bert is done digging, we'll put, actually we can start putting planter boxes now. So let's put planter boxes here, here, here. All right, batteries are coming together. All right, this is, this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. Keep it up. Let's add our first mealwood seed, then copy the settings. And you know, they'll, they'll get around to it when they do. You can tell Harold is uh, really running. I mean, he's like really trying to charge those batteries, but uh, now he's hungry and we've got a new dupe available. So I'm going to save the game right here for picking the dupe you want in mid game. If you don't find a good dupe, just load the game again after saving. All right, here's a couple of good ones. And this bet can't dig, so that's actually going to be a, a deal breaker because in early game digging is very important. This guy, Ari, has both construction and supplying, um, so he can carry a lot more. That's actually really useful, and he's got a digging bonus on top of that. He just can't research, so um, I'm leaning towards Ari, but Nails is really good too. He's got max construction and he doesn't suffer a morale penalty from bad decor. Morale, we've actually reduced the difficulty on, but it's still really important. We're gonna go with Ari here. He, he, he beats out nails by a bit, and uh, supplying is pretty useful because of being able to carry more. Plus, he has two positive traits, and excavation is also really important. So we're gonna print Ari here. Notice that we also don't have an oxygen generator yet, so 
I'm going to deconstruct this small battery. Going back to scheduling here, what I'm going to do is that new schedule that we made, I'm going to make use of it, put Ari here at the new schedule. And I'll actually put three dupes here in the new schedule so that when the new dupes come out, they'll automatically be in the default schedule. So anytime you, you start getting overlap of more than three, you know, add them to the new schedule because otherwise they'll have trouble when they want to go to the bathroom and they'll pee in your water. And uh, let's make their priorities default again. You don't want to specialize until later on in the game, otherwise that'll screw up how the duplicants are addressing all the different things that need to be done. Now let's take a moment here to continue building out and digging additional parts of the base out. So I'm gonna dig through here. And also bring the ladder up a bit more and dig four by X pattern, dig four and also around the ladder. I'm not going to open up this area with carbon dioxide yet because I don't have a functioning oxygen generator yet. So I'm going to wait till that happens and I'm not going to dig too closely to the ice either. Otherwise that'll, you know, as you can see from the temperature overlay, only this area is warm right now. Um, so let's build that oxygen generator, the oxygen diffuser. The oxygen diffuser releases a little bit of heat on its own as well, but not as much as the batteries do. So I'm gonna add more research to to food because food is gonna be a big source of headaches in this. What you really want to do is get to animal control. And I'm gonna up the priority of this 20% at six. So now when you do the oxygen overlay, you can see this area is a very oxygen rich. The dark blue areas are starting to become a lighter blue, uh, which means very breathable. And we have some more mealwood seeds that have been planted here. Let's dig these out since they may have mealwood. And the next thing we're going to research here is, yeah, sure. Let's go for sanitation. We'll get some plumbing and actual toilet and all of those things. And let's continue expanding continue building the tiles out and I haven't dug very far out in this area build more tiles up here prioritize that tile dig out the sand here wow we've been going through this research really quickly I think we might even be able to get to ranching really soon let's see here duplicate skills need leveling so Let's give him carrying. Man, look at these three guys. They're sleeping in a cot while their friend Ari is sleeping on the floor. I wish I had friends like these. What's this achievement that I got? Yeah, one, one toilet and a bed for everyone. Yep, that's the first achievement you generally want. So let's see how the temperature overlay looks. Yeah, it's getting really cold out there. It's going to be getting pretty cold out here, too. Yeah, let's build some batteries leading up to the outhouse. All right, so research in employment has been completed. Let's get to the really fun part of the researching, which is these, the grooming station, critter feeder, and all that. Before we do that, uh, we'll also need, you know, some of this other stuff. It's just that one wire missing, really. Just finish up that wire, guys. Ashkan is getting a lot of exercise. And we've got more skills to distribute. And you know, one thing I haven't built yet is a storage bin. So, storage bins I like to keep on the very edge of each floor. It makes it easy to store items and retrieve them. Right, we need the supercomputer here. 
So let's build a supercomputer right here with a wire connecting from the generator. So it looks like we can't do that research yet. Let's do internal combustion in the meantime. That'll give us access to the coal generator. And then, uh, oh, sanitation, we haven't finished that yet. Actually, yeah, let's do that first. There we go, they finally built Ari's bed. Ari is now sleeping with the rest of the dudes. And we've got a lot of work to do around here. Those buildings to make and, and all that stuff. And it's only gonna get harder from here. Man, where are all those mealwood seeds? I could have sworn there would be a lot more mealwood growing around here. That's bristle blossom. Oh, there's mealwood up there. Actually, yeah, we could probably dig up to that area. That's not a whole lot of carbon dioxide. So yeah, let's dig up. Definitely dig all of that out. One, two, three, four, and then dig all of that. And while we're at it, let's build some tiles where they're missing. Storage bin can be used for everything. All right, next thing to research is gonna be coal power, internal combustion, and let's prioritize that supercomputer. That's gonna be coming in handy very soon. Oh, uh, wow, the sand fell off. Let's prioritize building tiles all through here because we're about to dig all that out and make that a priority seven. Let's see what we've got here. Ashkan can do more construction. Burt can do more digging. All right, and we've got some plumbing here. Plumbing is a little bit tricky, but it's, it's a really interesting part of the game. For now, I'm just gonna build a pump right here at the very, very bottom. New printables are available. Uh, can we support a fifth duplicant? That's the question. Uh, we don't have enough food yet to support a fifth duplicant, so I'm gonna pick something different than um, a duplicant here. Right now, four duplicants is probably okay. Uh, don't make the mistake of picking more duplicants than you can feed. That'll lead to all sorts of problems. Here we have a pump, and when you're building a pump, you want something that the pump can bring the water up to. And that something here in this case is going to be a lavatory. So a lavatory will accept water into the white input pipe, and then you have to connect an output pipe separately and do not mix the inputs and outputs. You have to do it separately. So you bring it up and then you bring it up to the white pipe. You have to have a separate output pipe for the polluted water. Everything is just really freaking cold beyond that point. But what we can do is have that little space there be the storage for polluted water. It's gonna have a lot of germs and we don't really wanna deal with that right now, but it can be sealed up later with, with additional tiles and it's just two spaces wide. You don't need that much space. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll have Bert go digging up to here and then we'll make a ladder down to here and that'll be the storage for polluted water. First, I'm gonna make sure the piping is ready before turning the pump on and doing all of that. So first, let's take care of the piping. Now that we have a lavatory, that sink is under medicine here. And then while we're at it, let's give our dupes a little bit of privacy at a pneumatic door here with tiles, second pneumatic door, you know, much further out so, so that there's room to expand to let's say four lavatories. Two, three, four lavatories and then a sink. Okay, so that's eight spaces of expansion, potential expansion. Um, so let's wait for the dupes to get around to that. In the meantime, they'll continue using the outhouse and the wash basin. This pump is gonna be a little bit of a challenge because hypothermia is waiting down there for you. In the meantime, let's pick a blueprint. And sure, let's add a curative tablet just in case. All right, so we've discovered a lot. Sanitation, 
Let's see if we can finally get around to animal control now. All right, the pipes are being laid down. Now that there are a lot of construction orders and backlog, it's gonna take a bit to get everyone on the same page in terms of what everyone's doing. So this is still cycle number seven. We don't have enough food yet. We've been surviving off of muck roots, but there are, there is some hope here. Let's dig that up. Dig all of those up. The bristle blossom, that additional mealwood. And let's get uh, some farm tiles up here now that we can make farm tiles. For four dupes, you'll want uh, between four and five mealwood plants each. So four times five is 20. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and about to make the 20th one, which will be right here. So this will make the colony food sources sustainable. Eventually we're going to have these hatches also be a food source for their eggs and also for their meat. All right, so they're, they're about to build the sink and the outhouse. Let's take care of the output pipes. As we had mentioned, we were, we're gonna take them all the way here. And then finally, in order to drain the liquid out of them, we'll add a liquid vent over here. Now you can just sit back, relax, let your dupes do their thing, you can get a water break. You don't have to play this game continuously. I'm gonna fast forward a bit to a point where the dupes have done things that have been assigned to them. We're on cycle eight here and there doesn't seem to have been any major hitch. I do wanna point out that the outhouse is almost full. Let's go ahead and prioritize the creation of a second outhouse because it takes a really long time to empty the outhouse and get everything done so let's prioritize this new outhouse at priority nine we've got some duplicates and harold of course oh no that's bert bert you're all right and you've done a lot of digging for us you can take the last crap in the outhouse. So now we're on cycle nine, and we have a new print available, new printable. Mealwood is ready, and new ones are going to be planted very soon. Let's go ahead and plant the two more seeds we found, and let's check out what kind of printables we have. And again, the technique here is that if you don't find someone you like, reload. And this guy is actually pretty good. Turner supplying and farming are both important traits to have. And especially this his bonus, the increased science, uh, plus 30% leveling, skill leveling. With this setup, because we don't have enough mealwoods, I don't feel comfortable bringing him on just yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add more muck root to our rations here instead of bringing him on you can also pick this snazzy suit increases decor in a small area effect around the wearer increases morale increases decor all that stuff so i'm gonna go with the muck root for now just to hold us over until we have more mealwood plants ready and until we get the ranching going so yep we're gonna be in animal control very soon probably by the end of cycle 10, which is where I'll leave this video off. You all need to fix your toilets. Don't just be using them and dropping your loads without fixing them. And let's also, we don't have power here, so let's go ahead and draw a power line down to the pump. And let's prioritize the wastewater tank. Bert, look at Bert, cleaning up after himself. What a gentleman. Harold, you should learn a thing or two from him. Why is Harold not doing any research? Awaiting delivery dirt. Oh, okay, he needs more dirt to do his research. 
Who's our supplier? All right, Ari, I'll, I'll give you a slightly higher priority in supplying and tidying. You know, digging and building too. Digging and building are always good ones to have. Oh, the looks like the pipe is gonna be finished first. So we don't need this last ladder. I'm gonna cancel that build and instead we'll build two tiles here so that all of that stank gets contained. Looks like we're gonna be in pretty decent shape at cycle 10. We'll almost have our plumbing in order. We don't have any more fresh water though. So this is all the fresh water we have to start with. So as soon as that wire is finished, let's go ahead and prioritize these tiles and that wire to be priority six. We're gonna have a good lavatory and outhouse system. And let's go ahead and extend the plumbing for these all the way. So we're gonna have one sink on each side and then probably four lavatories in the middle. I probably made this bathroom a little bit larger than I needed to, but it's okay. Everyone likes some space to do their private business, you know. That's the end of cycle 10. And that's about where I'll leave the video off. And our research is complete. So now we can start doing some critter traps and capturing critters. This is the conclusion of the first part of Head Start on Rhyme. Hope you enjoyed, hope you were able to follow along. Let's save here and we'll pick up on cycle 11 next time.